Thank you. So beautiful. Hello. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a beautiful rhinestone collar accessory for your dog. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you the items that you need to make the beautiful rhinestone collar. So you will need a, a glue gun. You just get a low heat a glue gun. You don't wanna burn your fingers or burn anything. So this is just a low uh, heat a glue gun. And you'll need some Velcro. I've chose the white color. It does come in black, brown, I believe, other colors. I've chose a white so that it doesn't really show up on the, um, the clear rhinestone. And you'll need a measuring tape, a vinyl or cloth is best because it's meant to measure the dog's neck and it's very flexible. You will need a pair of scissors, maybe some craft scissors, any kind of scissors that, that cut. These are just an old pair of grooming shears that I use to cut uh, ribbons and whatnot. But any shears are, uh, will do, but don't use your good grooming shears, of course. Anything you use to cut anything but hair. Then you'll need the rhinestone, of course. Now this rhinestone comes on rolls. Here's how big it is. It's about, this one's about four and a half inches wide. And it has about 23 or 24 of these beads going all the way down. And it usually comes on the roll. I'll show you what it looks like on the roll. Like this, and this is another color. So they come like on a spool and it comes in many other colors. Now there are other options as well. If you can't find the roller rhinestones, this is really nice as well. But they're not, it's not all rhinestone, there's like designs in the middle. This actually would be uh, really good just to leave it this um, wide for, for a big dog, like a standard poodle or afghan or, or any large dog. You can use this one because it's not really good for cutting because if you cut it, you're going to ruin the design. But there's, um, you know, one way you can use that, of course. And then also I found this somewhere you can buy them in sheets. Sorry, I don't know if you can see it. But I don't find it as good as the roll because you can't really get, you know, a long length out of it. But you can do small dogs as this one. So I just got it in a sheet. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get your measuring tape and you want to measure the dog's neck. And that's why you need a flexible measuring tape so you can measure the dog's neck so that you can determine how long the collar will need to be. She has a lot of hair on the back of her neck. Make sure the ears aren't in there because they're really thick. Hmm. All right, so I'm not gonna put it too snug because of all our hair on the back, but let me see. Yeah, I'll say her neck is 15 inches. And so what I normally do to make the collar is I add on uh, two inches so that there's room to, um, you know, adjust the collar. So her neck measured 15 inches and um, I'm just going to add two inches, which is 17 inches. All right, so now you want to measure 17 inches long for your collar, which is to here. And you want to figure out how, how wide you want it. So I'm making it for the standard poodle. For smaller dogs, you can go, you can go thinner. I'm going to make it, uh, let's see, see here. Yeah, I'm going to go six deep. But first, I'll just make sure I got my mark, which is right here. So I'm just going to cut in six rhinestones. One, two, three, six. Yeah, so that's it. So measure the, how long you want the collar and how wide you want it. And these are easily um, cut as well. It cuts very, very simple. Just double check two, four, six. So I am going to be cutting this line. Just have to be careful. Just 
going all the way up. There. So next you want to plug in your heating gun and just let it warm up so that you can get the glue out of there. All right, so while the glue gun is getting hot, what I do is I take my uh, Velcro here and I'm gonna cut a piece that'll fit on the end, one end of the collar. I'm just gonna cut like a small, a square piece. Just like that. A piece that big. Now this Velcro is stuck together. Just like that, it comes like this. You can buy it in a roll, or you can buy smaller pieces. It comes in many ways. So this is the piece that I'm gonna be using. All right, so now the glue is uh, warmed up. It's ready to come out of the glue gun, and what I do is I put glue on one end of the Velcro, just a stripe across like that. Now you want low heat because when you stick it to the collar, you're gonna get it on your hands and you don't wanna burn your hands. So I'm just gonna uh, stick it on the flat side for now and not the rhinestone side. Just like that, I try to just kinda hold it on the edges, but you can go on top as well. Your hands will get sticky. It doesn't hurt. It just you know comes right off. So that can dry, it dries like within seconds. So what I do now is I put glue on the opposite side of the Velcro. They're attached together, remember. The two Velcros are attached together. And we're just gonna put a strip across there. And it looks like I need more glue. All right, so I put another glue stick in here, hoping that I can have enough glue to glue it. Oh, there we go. All right, so I got kind of a big glob on that side. You can let it you know, dry for just a couple seconds as well. It won't be so sticky. So what I do is I take the collar like this. Just go along the edge and get the other side. And you're going to have to stick the Velcro to the, to the nice side, to the rhinestone, because you want the collar to lay flat. And now my hands are all gluey. I'm just going to stick it together right here, like right where the Velcro is. There, so there's a lot of glue. You have to wait for it to dry before you put it on the dog because you don't want it to get stuck um, to the fur. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So that's very, very simple to make. And I want to show you what else you can do with this. Um, for You know, you can use this collar for any season. Spring, summer, whenever, uh, weddings, parties, the Christmas time. So it's Christmas time now that I'm making this collar, and you can add things to this as well. I'm going to show you. I'm going to add some things to it. So you can just add anything to this collar with your glue gun. Um, depending on the season in the summer, you can stick on like summer items, fall items, whatever you like. Just um, you know, any emblems, anything you can think of. But this is Christmas time, so. Let's see what I'm gonna use. I don't know. These nice balls, they're pretty. And you can, those can be glued on. And I have these thick like, stars. They're pretty. You can just glue them wherever you like. You can put them, you know, just one. You can put a couple. You can put three, four. How many as you like? Wherever you like. Look at that. That's really pretty, huh? I would just glue them on with a glue gun. That, or you can kind of stick these three together. And look how pretty that would look too. And I also got these little stockings. These might be a little too big. Maybe a bit best for a bigger one, or no, maybe it'll fit. You can put a little stocking on it. That would look cute. And my favorite is using flowers. This is like a poinsettia. And usually what I do is I buy stems of artificial flowers like this. This one's too big obviously for the collar, but just, just to, to give you an idea. And what I do is I separate the flowers. This is too big to be in the middle. It'll just 
that'll actually poke the dog so you don't want that in there so what I do is I take the flowers apart like that and now these two will fall apart obviously so I'm just gonna put a, a little thing of glue in the middle to hold them together I'll just put the glue don't need a lot of glue for these oops too much came out I'm just gonna stick them together Let it dry for a second. Here, so it's dry and I'll just flatten out the leaves. It's a poinsettia, nice for Christmas. Now, since uh, the middle of this was too big, it's too bulky to fit in there, it would just hurt the dog. What I do is I get these party beads, you know, like a necklace. See how pretty there? And what I do is I cut one of them off, or you can have two, but I like to do one. And I will put a dab of glue in the middle like that and stick a bead in there. Isn't that pretty? And now let me just see where the it sticks together. So it sticks together here. So I want to put this point set in the middle. And I am gonna put some more glue on the back of the poinsettia. Oh, I better separate it because it might stick together. It's okay, I'll just get it on my hands. Anyway, wow. I can't wait to put it on the dog. Look at that. Isn't that pretty for Christmas? Very beautiful. Okay, let's try it on the dog now. All right, let's try this collar on. It looks so beautiful. So I just took off some of the glue around the areas. Here. Let's give it a try, my little baby girl. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it looks like. Let me see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? It's perfect for Christmas time. Gorgeous. In the summer, you can put a summer flower there or some summer emblems like, you know, beach balls or whatever you like, Valentine's, put hearts on it. Um, Easter, put Easter eggs on it. You know, the emblems that are flat, you can just glue them on. So it looks, this looks great on any dog. It looks good on um, uh, Shih Tzu's. Very, very nice on Shih Tzu's, especially when their hair is shorter. You can see it on uh, short hair is good. On Bichon's, it looks uh, very, very classy and shiny on Bichon's especially when their hair is short again. It looks very, very nice on short hair dogs because you know, it just it shines right up. You can see it because they don't have any hair to hide it. And especially on black short hair dogs, it looks like beautiful. Black dogs I think are the best because obviously it stands out and um, it looks very, very nice. So I want to thank you very much for watching and let me know if you're going to be making this collar and give me a thumbs up if you like my video and uh, we'll see you in the next video. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon that way you won't miss any of my uh, future uh, videos. And thank you very much for watching again. Say bye bye. Say bye. Bye.